You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready to make a decision? Ready to make a decision. Are you, are you done looking at boats? I'm sorry, I'm over it. All right. When I'm wore out, this has been a long process. Very long. But we think we found the boat for us. Come on back, check us out. See what we got. After making a worldwide tour, we didn't even get to go to Europe or nothing. Darn. Anyway, we went all over the place. We that went we did. Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Louisiana. Uh, ran up the roads, but we think we finally figured out the boat that's right for us. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and what did you? And what did you pick? <laughs> What did you we choose? Pick. That's right. <laughs> this was a we decision, so everybody out there, it's a give and take situation. There's a lot of things that I like with the boat. Uh, a lot of things Kim liked with the boat. There's some things Kim didn't like, some things I didn't like, but you just have to get your list and must have, must have, must haves, and sometimes you may not get that must have. That's right. But that's true. It's all, it's a balance deal, so you're not going to get everything you want, and if you do, you're very lucky. Yeah. But anyway, after looking all over the place, and believe me, we didn't show you all the boats no. we looked at. There was a boat here locally in Louisiana. That we actually went on, I think it was a 1984 Fuwa, 38-foot mm -hmm. uh, uh, boat. Nice boat. It was a very nice boat, had, had it well taken care of. It uh, had a single, uh, I think it was a 120-horse uh, uh, Lehman engine in it. Uh, we made an offer on it, and uh, they 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 accepted it, and that was a verbal offer. So we, they said, "Hey, let's go out for a ride. We'll take you around. We'll show you for a ride." What happened? <laughs> we backed up, and it died. <laughs> we backed up, and started going out to the channel to get out into the uh, uh, Lake Poncha train, and it just stalled out. They didn't know if they caught a rope or what yeah. in the prop. But we didn't get a thousand yards from their house uh, before uh, we had to tie up to an old derelict barge and wait for one of his buddies to tow us back in the house. It ended up being a cutlass bearing on the back uh, end on the transom, you know, where the prop goes through. So maybe all in all, it was a good thing. Yeah, but I mean, it was a nice boat. That I mean, it happened because it wasn't a sun deck. Right. It didn't have some enclosures. Uh, it had a yeah. single engine, and I think that made up our mind right then. We were going to get a boat with two engines, so if one did go down for whatever reason, we could at least get home or get to a marina or be safe. So and we also wanted more room in the salon too. That's right. We didn't want to have to sit on the at the settee. It's the only place that you could sit, and that's how this boat was. Yeah, you could only sit there. It's more of a trunk cabin cabin type deal on the back end, not a sun deck. But it was well taken care of. It yep. was a nice boat. I'm, nice not, boat. I'm not knocking the boat. Yep. Yep. So anyway, we decided not that. We looked at another uh, marine trader. A marine trader, forty uh, foot, 40 foot Europa. Europa. Nice. The guys did the loop in it. Uh, we made an offer on that. He accepted it. We went to uh, survey that boat. Uh, we went out uh, survey it. There was a vibration in the rudder I didn't like. We went over and tried to get up on the travel lift. Uh, the travel lift was broke, so we didn't even get it hauled out. So yeah. we had to come back, but. Uh, the survey for the sea trial and dockside, he did all that, and there were some issues with the boat uh, that needed to be fixed, and I told the guy before I uh, uh, gave him an offer that if there was anything wrong with the boat, I expected it to be fixed, or how did you want to handle it? And he said, well, we sit down and we talk about it and, see, and, and like, like uh, men. Well, came up with a list of stuff to be fixed on the survey after, again, another $750 for a survey. Luckily, we didn't have to pay to haul it out. I know. Uh, but there was issues with the rudder on that one, or, or the shaft, or a prop, or something. But the anyway, generator. Uh, the generator had some issues in it. So I, I expected all this stuff. I said, how do you want to handle this, get all it fixed? He said, Mo, my price is still firm. I'm not coming down. This is what it is. So I said, okay, well, we're not interested. 
So he eventually came way down on the price, but by then colonists. we already decided that was a single uh, drive engine. Uh, They've been in the Bahamas with it, so it was a good boat, yeah. but again, it was a single engine. We decided but it was we a nice boat. I liked so. it too. But he wasn't going to come down the price, and that boat was a 79, I believe. Yeah, Marine And uh, it was an old boat. It only goes 6.5 knots, and that was it. So We were just scared we'd get stuck somewhere, and we may need to get out. Yeah, or the, yeah the weather could turn bad. But anyway, long story short, we didn't get that boat. Looked at another one over in uh, Past, Past Christiane. Uh, we looked at, what, what kind of boat was that? Nod, not we, not. Uh, not, not. A nautique, nautique, an 86 nautique. I uh, went on that boat. They wanted a whole bunch of money for that one, and that boat was terrible. Oh, it was horrible. That was that was the day one on going to look at all these other two boats: the uh, present uh, over in Alabama and the uh, Jefferson. So that was boat number one. So you anyway, starting out too good for the day either. No, so <laughs> we, we wasted all morning over there. Yeah. In that, and our broker uh, Barry. Uh, Worked really good with us. Drove all the way over here from Pensacola to work with us on this first boat, and then drove all the way back over to Orange Beach. So he put in a lot of effort. All right, so we made an offer on the Jefferson. On the Jefferson. Now I listed it. I think in the last video or the video before it was an 86. It's actually listed as an 87, uh, but it doesn't really matter. They're all the same. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go have it surveyed and see what happens on the survey. They accepted our offer, so we'll see what happens after the survey. Uh, we thought it was a pretty good offer on it. They countered, and we accepted their counter. We weren't going to mess with it because we we're, were getting the boat at a right price. Neither sun decks are really hard to find too. Yep. So I mean, you, if you really want a sun deck, you have to give and take a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And it, it needs a little work, not bad. Yeah, just a little bit here and there, but uh, nothing that we can't fix. Uh, they all need work, though. Yeah. But anyway, let's take a look. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, let you uh, come in. We're going to show you how we survey it. We're not going to do it on this video. We're going to do it on another video. But I want to show the day that it actually surveyed, how we did the survey. The surveyor that was out there checking the bottom, put it up on the, tra uh, the traveler, pulled it out of the water, ch show you the underside of the boat, the props, and then we'll show you the inside, and then go through the uh, uh, the survey with you, uh, kind of in detail to kind of see what to look for if you're looking at a boat of this year uh, in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, they're all about the same. Uh, some are a little bit different, but they're basically the same. These Taiwan uh, boats. Um, but we were happy with this and we're happy they accepted the order. Now all we got to do is get through another survey. So, and oil analysis and. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get an oil analysis on it, make sure that turns out good. It's got yeah. twin cats in it, 260 horsepower, 3208s. And he's a diesel uh, mechanic, uh, uh. so. Yeah, so we're confident with the owner on the paperwork he had on the boat. You know, everything was listed, had good manuals on it, and, and, and good records. So, and it had a record of. Uh, uh, oil analysis on it so we're, we're happy with it plus we knew it they lived on it uh, recently uh, I think they've been off it for what six months or exactly. eight months yeah, something they, like that they decided that, you know they've done the loop they did they, for ten years they did the Bahamas they did everything so they're moving on to other things so we knew the boat should be halfway good there were a few issues but they all do yep so anyway we'll, we'll next time we'll come back and do the offer we just want to tell you we're excited we think we got a good boat. Uh, hopefully everything will come back and we'll be good on that. So I just wanted to give you an update here. We're trying to get up real time so we can show you some yeah. stuff. Uh, I know some of our last, I think our last video, you saw it uh, snowing here in Louisiana. Uh, and then just this last week, it almost hit 80 degrees. So it can't, can't make up his mind. But anyway, we're glad you're with us. If this is the first time you've ever been with us, please like give us a subscribe and hit that little notify bell up there for our next video we're going to start putting them out here pretty fast get caught up into real time and remember now we're just not all about boats we're sitting here in maddie our 42 foot uh, uh, fifth wheel uh, heartland landmark that we're going to be going out and still doing the rv thing so we've got the rv thing going we're going to have the boat thing going and we got some other plans too so it, it's just not all about boats. So join in with us. Take a look at some of our other videos. Yep. In the past that we've done, we got a lot of traveling we're going to do this year coming up.
can't wait. Hopefully, we put some time in. We worked really hard, saved up our money, so spent it too. Yeah, but uh, we did. we're getting what we want because you know some days here. That's right. That's so right. we're not waiting any longer. Anyway, stop the madness. Start the adventure, and also Merry Christmas, guys. See you next time. Bye. Say bye, Princess. Come by. Say Merry Christmas princess. from Princess P. She's getting her hair done Wednesday. <laughs> bye, Oakendeals. <laughs>